Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, my name is Betty and today I'm going to be doing a full face of Mob Beauty. Why did I get close up like this? But look how flawless the skin is. Yeah. My skin is already prepped in this video, so I'm just going straight into my Mob Beauty palette that I made on my own because with Mob Beauty you can do that. And I'm just starting with my foundation shade. I believe this is the Olive 60 shade. Not sure about all of the products that I used which will all be Mob Beauty, will be down below in the description box. I know there's a few new people on the channel. Okay, so I'm going to give you guys a little background. Honestly, we're going to just do a little reset because I started this YouTube channel. Why did I just stutter? I started this YouTube channel back in 2017. It's not 2017 anymore. And back then, this channel was a little bit of everything. I was making bilingual videos, vlogs with tutorials, makeup looks. I feel like... I've done pretty much everything on this channel and the people who've been here for a while know there was a little time where I was traveling out of the country so I was doing a lot of vlogs, I was consistent for a little bit there so there was a lot of growth and I took a break, a couple of years, three or four, but I'm back. <laughs> back then I was consistent and I was always trying something new. I i wanted to push boundaries i was creating bold and colorful looks i was really into makeup i was really into hair it was all about standing out turning makeup into art basically right i i loved the process the transformation but somewhere along the way i think i just started to question my relationship with makeup especially after working in the beauty industry and just seeing and experiencing i think everybody who works in the beauty industry kind of gets there at some point but there was a time when i had to ask myself like why do i wear makeup is it just to cover up is it to create an armor a shield was it about beauty or was i letting other people's perception and insecurities influence me was i falling for consumerism <laughs> i think i've just needed to step away from it for a while which i did because now when i'm doing my makeup or when i'm doing clients makeup it's it's different my my mind is quiet i i love doing makeup i i love the process it's not about the makeup it's, it's about the process of doing it for me anyway all the noise of the world kind of stops it's, it's it's the only time when the wheels stop turning when i'm not thinking about what's next or what i should be doing it's just me here in the moment transforming myself or whoever is in my chair into whichever version of me i want to be or whatever version of a person they want to be making people feel beautiful and look beautiful yeah anyway over the last two years i've completely transitioned into clean beauty and i think if you've seen my recent videos you will you'll have noticed that right and it's really just changed how i see makeup it's not about hiding or fixing it's about enhancing what's already there about self-expression now i now i know more about ingredients about how products are made about techniques it's about the act of doing it for me now more so than the makeup itself i know that a lot of beauty brands prey on insecurities and they they, they profit off of them i i have had to also just get out of the conventional makeup world is that a thing i don't know but i gravitate towards brands that create things with intention and i think mob beauty is really one of those brands they're very intentional about what they're creating what the packaging is what the makeup is what what the ingredients are what the products in general i just feel like it's a very intentional brand and i and i really love that but where was i going with this i don't know anyway mob is just one of those brands that i've really gravitated towards in the last year and i've grown to love i didn't love it at first but i love it now i've really hard to explain don't have words anyway my mind is spinning right now where was i going with this okay you know what <laughs> yeah mob is great per okay let's move on because i want to talk about what's next for this channel okay and honestly i want to just get back to doing the things i love and obviously makeup is part of it right but it's about continuing to explore to create content that feels genuine and, 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 and authentic to me and that's what i used to do and that's what i want to do now and i think clean beauty is is where i feel like i have found my rhythm so i really want to create more content using my favorite beauty brands more more 
knowledge based videos when it comes to makeup i've gained so many new techniques and tips in just the last two three years working with different clean beauty brands and and freelancing on the side and just yeah my mind did you just see what the setting powder did the video is distracting me did you see how it blurred do you see how my skin literally is, the foundation is second skin nothing is heavy nothing is overwhelming i did use a little bit of my exa concealer it's a stick concealer and i really i really like the concealer the concealer shade that i have in my mob palette for mob beauty is a peachy like a peachy shade foundation and i kind of use it to color correct under my eye and then i go over it with my exa concealer just to brighten anyway i'm hoping to get back into being consistent on this channel i i feel the spark i want to create more i just want to do things i love and this video brought me so much joy just sitting there doing my makeup i was on my way out i was going to work this day and i loved how my makeup turned i was watching mr monk i had my music my skin looked amazing i felt great i sat there i did my makeup i wanted to do a voiceover because i want to do a reset and this is the reset for the channel i'm going to be moving next month new space new setup i'm going to be somewhere where i'm a lot more comfortable and there's a lot more space so i just genuinely feel good and since i feel good i want to create that's how my mind works when i'm feeling great i'm creating when i'm not feeling great i won't be but i'm hoping that if you've been here from the start that you will stick around for a little bit because there's been a lot of twists and turns i know but finally i think we're gonna land somewhere <laughs> i think i think it's our year this is the new mob lip liner day they, they extended the shade range when they first came out with it it was 1990 and that was just too light it, it wasn't gonna work for me but it was great on a lot of people but they've expanded the shade range it's a beautiful brown i added a mop lipstick in the middle it's a matte peachy like very nude lipstick very 90s and then i finished it off with a little gloss this is the gen c hyaluronic acid gloss and look at that the skin the powder blurs everything the foundation is second skin everything looks so beautiful i feel beautiful I look gorgeous yeah <laughs> the mascara is actually from Trish McAvoy it's a tubing mascara I've never used a tubing mascara before the Trish mascara so I've been loving that and it's clean by the way you guys did you guys know Trish McAvoy is 99% clean this is the final look you guys I hope you enjoyed the video I'll see you next time don't forget to like comment and subscribe